this section, we'll talk about transformers. Transformers are really popular these days. And many of the state of the art machine learning models are coming from this. So let's see how they work. So why do we need transformers? As we saw before, RNNs use information in sequence. And because of that, we cannot train them in parallel. We also saw that we need these extensive attention units to solve these long-term dependency issues. So attention is critical. In this section, we'll look at this paper, attention is all you need. So let's also define attention. Attention focuses machine learning models to focus on certain parts of the input data. With the attention, we can also process data in parallel. In this section, we will only focus on the self-attention topic. In order to explain the self-attention topic, we will take a linguistic view. Let's also get a simple recurrent neural network. We are going to use the sentence, I kick the ball, and send it to a recurrent neural network, and we will also see how it works with a linguistic view. So let's start with the RNN. When we send this information through an RNN, RNN takes this data and processes it one token at a time. It updates the hidden state in a way that it tries to build these long-term dependencies. In the linguistic case, things are slightly different. We try to merge things into some higher level concepts. And we have this tree-like structure. For example, we get the sentence, I kick the ball, and we try to merge things. We get the ball, we make the noun phrase, we combine that with the verb phrase, and then we also combine that with this first noun phrase. And at the end, we get to a sentence. The question is, can we make the same thing with a model? It is possible. We can, for example, use a dictionary structure. We are going to have these key value pairs, and we are going to use some queries to get some values for each key. And we can define keys to be parts of speech and also the location, and values be the meaning of the word itself. So let's get this sentence, I kick the ball. In this case, the key is noun one, and the value is I. The second key is the verb two, and the value is kicked. The third is article three, and the value is the, and the last one is noun four, and ball. So we are able to create these key value pairs using this approach. The, sec the second thing that we should be doing is that we need to create some queries. We need to do that because we, we are going to be searching for some nearby tokens that match a target. For example, we can create queries for nouns that are, that are going to search for some verbs. We can create queries for articles that will search for some nearby nouns or we can create queries for verbs that are going to search for some objects. And it goes on like that. And by using these queries, we can start to combine these things into some higher level representations. For example, from this, we can combine the first pair, I kicked, this is a noun phrase. Kicked ball, this is a verb phrase. The ball, this is a noun phrase. And kicked ball, this is a verb phrase. This can be iterated until the entire sentence merges. So with this linguistic view, we are able to create these structures. And this requires us to get key, value, and the queries. And overall, we can keep combining things into some higher level. And when we reach the sentence, this means that we, are able to, we were able to create this structure. 